The Rhodey Drone Vacuum Filter Project is created for the Introduction to Particle Technology course at the University of Nevada, Reno by Team Delta. The members of Team Delta are Sarah Carl, Justin Dene, Joe Michelli, and Tefera Tillahan. So what is a Rotary Drone Vacuum Filter? A Rotary Drone Vacuum Filter is a filter process that uses a vacuum to pull filtrate through a filtering medium from a dilute slurry. This filtrate exits the filter in the axial direction through a pump, where it is separated from the vacuum air and collected as a product. Solids are left stuck to the filtering medium held by a pressure differential. The drum rotates until the solid cake reaches a knife, which scrapes the cake off the filtering medium, leaving a cake of solids that can be broken into smaller pieces or left as a continuous solid cake. Depending on the industry, the desired product can be the solid cake, liquid filtrate, or both. The main components of the rotary drum vacuum filter are the drum, the filter medium, the drum housing, the vacuum, the knife, and the pump. For our project, we constructed the drum from an ABS pipe and we drilled 144 holes into it. One end of the pipe has a PVC coupler that leads to the vacuum, while the other end is sealed with another PVC component and is attached to a hand crank so the drum can rotate. The vacuum used is a wet-dry shop vacuum. The pressure drop of the vacuum is approximately 1.8 psi which we measured in inches of water from a manometer we created and attached to the vacuum. The vacuum has to have a strong suction so that it will be able to separate the liquid from the solid. Before we measured the pressure drop with a manometer, we tested if the vacuum is strong enough to dry in water. Here is our test. As you can see, the water is being drawn into the drum, proving that the vacuum is strong enough for our operation. The filter median is a cloth and is hot glued to the drum as tight as possible. The tighter the cloth is on the drum, the less likely the cloth will be snagged onto the knife while the drum is rotating. The drum housing is a paint roller tray that is modified to fit the drum. The modifications of the drum housing are done by cutting the tray to the size of the drum and then molding it to the shape of the drum with insulation foam. The duct tape and the marine grease allows for smooth rotation and provides as a sealant for the drum. The knife is attached to one end of the drum housing as shown. The knife is at an angle so that the solid layer will be able to be scraped off and slide down the knife. The pump is used to make our process continuous. The flow rate of the pump is 130 gallons per hour. The pump is also used to mix our slurry so that the particles will not settle to the bottom of the drum. For our project, the slurry consists of shredded toilet paper and water. Two and a half gallons of water and 20 sheets of toilet paper we used for the slurry. The toilet paper was torn as uniformly as possible by folding the toilet paper up and tearing it in half repeatedly until there were approximately two centimeters. The pump shredded the toilet paper even more. The efficiency of our project depends on how well the solid and liquid separated, such as is there any solids remaining in the filtrate or how much water remained with the solid layer. To measure the efficiency of our rotary drum vacuum filter, we did a mass balance. Here is a summary of the mass balance equations we used. Dry toilet paper and water were measured before mixed together. After we finished one run, we measured the wet toilet paper and then measured it to determine the mass of the toilet paper collected and the mass of the water retained in the wet mass. We then measured the mass of the water collected in the vacuum and the slurry that remained in the drum housing. After we obtained these measurements, we applied them to the equations. Here are some equations for a constant pressure filter that we are using to calculate the cake resistance, accumulation of cake, and pressure drop. The void fraction is found online. The other values we have calculated from our measurements of the drum and the cake.
For experimentation on our design, a thicker cake is required, which we determined to be approximately 5 to 7 millimeters for toilet paper. We could not make a thick enough layer because the vacuum's capacity is about 4 gallons, so only 4 gallons of filtrate can be filtered during a single run. Our project still does work, but the cake is difficult to collect because of how thin it is. We even place sandpaper on the edge of the knife to provide more grip for the knife, but the solids will roll down into the drum housing instead of onto the knife. If a different slurry was utilized, such as clay and water, or mud and water, a thick cake could be made and can be properly collected. Thank you for watching.